really good. I mean, I, I think the, the, the model of trying to get to is, uh, you know, you do play a power five because we know there's benefits coming from that, uh, financially in particular, and then you balance maybe play an FCS team, right? And then, then the two other games, if you're playing four, are, are, are alike opponents, you know, maybe other schools outside of the power five. And, and that seems like a balanced uh, uh, approach. And I think that's the goal is to get there. Yeah, and I'm not sure how far down the road we'll, we'll go, but that's the intent. Yeah, to do that. And I know if you go back, I, I, at one point I don't remember the number exactly, but if you go back through the the years that San Jose State has had a winning record, typically are the years where you don't play multiple power fives. Sure, um, sure. Right. Is, is that something you've ever taken notice of, uh, looking back? At yeah, the schedule maker is very powerful in college football. <laughs> uh, if you look at it, the schedule maker is maybe the most powerful of, of, of how a season is and so forth. And, uh, you know, everything's timing. And uh, obviously you got to have a good team, you got to have the right schedule. You sprinkle in a good, a little uh, a luck here and there, and you can have a great season. And, and so, yeah, who you play is very important. Um, also, uh, you can make a, a splash for your program, though, by, by upsetting a, a Power 5 school. So it's nice to have that opportunity, um, but uh, when, it's, when it's week in and week out, it can be, it can be challenging. Yeah. From a statistical standpoint, I believe you guys had the top pass defense in the country last year. I right. think it was like 117 yards a game. Right, right. Um, overall defense, I think, ended up being middle of the pack. You guys gave up 230, I think, in the running game. Yeah. Um, was that a product of teams running on you early and then not having to pass? Um, I mean, how, 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 would you, how would you classify your I defense? I think uh, a combination. I think, um, first of all, I'll start with our secondary. I, I don't want to take anything away from those guys. I think our secondary played very well, and we have good – Good players and and they played well uh, in that level. I think that uh, our, our defense really uh, played solid um, all year long. I think at the end of the year, uh, you know, it was it was a product of we had some we had some attrition, uh, you know, physical attrition. Uh, you could probably draw a line the Navy game, and from that point on, it was it was. Um, we we had some you know from a personnel standpoint it was it was uh, it was a challenge, and I think that showed up. Uh, but yeah, teams. Um, you know, I think that uh, our defense was much improved last year. Consistency. I know overall defense, total defense. I think we're 32nd in, in the country, and that's good. That's a big improvement from where we were the year before. What I'm most encouraged and excited about is all our coaches are back, uh, so you have that consistency carry on over from 2014 to 15. They're hearing the same coach. They're hearing the same coaching point, and uh, so you know what I'm what I'm planning on is our, our our team or our defense, as we're talking about in this case, of taking the next step and and continuing to come along of understanding the uh, the plan, the schemes, and the fundamentals involved. Can you give us an update on Jared Leaf and how's he, how he's doing? 